yeah, y'all know what it is. Real nigga just signed back with cash money. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just stop trying to figure this shit out, man. Accept it for what it is. It is what it is, man. Cash money records. I'm back, bitch. You heard me? Original hot boy shit. Nigga uptown shit. Thugging. You heard me? Ugh. Yeah, man. I'm cleaning all that dirt off me. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but clean money over here. You heard me? Nick. Let's go jack it up and check it out now. This is a very interesting move because if you choose to lay in bed with the devil, don't be surprised if you wake up in hell, all right? I mean, for the second time, if you do it once, okay, shame on you. You do it twice, you got to be shame on me, right? Now, this guy, uh, Hot Boy Turk, his name is really Turk. I mean, he was down with the Hot Boys, down with the whole cash money movement when it was really at its peak before Lil Wayne found its peak, but still, cash money was cash money. Now, ever since like a couple of years ago when everybody been looking at Birdman and Sandusky like, wait. He's really skimming off the top. He's been, like, not paying us. Tiger said he never got a paycheck. Of course, Wayne got some issues. He's suing for $51 million. But we saw Turk came out, and he said, yo, I'm actually owed $1.3 million because for about 80 songs I never paid. Now, Turk actually went to prison for a while. So maybe he didn't get paid because he was locked. I don't know. It could have been that. But somehow they came to a settlement. Now, this is an interesting part, okay? If I worked with you and I claim you never paid me, right, and it took over 10 years or close to 10 years for you to pay me, after you do pay me through a settlement, I ain't going to be doing business with you. We could possibly still, like, yo, chop it up. Maybe if I see you, I'll give you a head nod, but we ain't getting back in business again. However, Turk is saying the opposite. He says he signed back to cash money, okay? He didn't really explain much. He said real niggas just signed back. I mean, he said we got to accept it for what it is, and that's what we'll do. Now, the thing is, man, if his business don't work out fine after this, we can't have no sympathy for you, bro, because you got out of the situation. You got some money, we got to assume, because we don't know the terms of the settlement, right? But if you get back in bed, and I'm really using that as a metaphor, not no sexual shit, but if he gets back in business with the Sanduskies, okay, you feel me? And you then get raped contractually again. We can't feel bad for you. Now, I'm hoping this does something for his career. I know he's been trying to get his career back on the up and up. I know him, A.R. Ab, and even our Compton Menace, they're on cash money now. And I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen. Because I'm not sure at this point cash money has the juice to break new artists. Or not even new artists because these guys aren't new. But really reinvigorate an artist's career. Because I think it's just so much about the new. And it's kind of very interesting that Birdman is really investing in some talent that's kind of been out there already. But... Maybe they haven't, like, been at the top for a while, or maybe they kind of dipped off the scene. So I want to see if Birdman is really that good. It's the difference between being a coach that always got the great players and you kind of led them to greatness. Of course, we got Wayne, we got Nicky, we got Drake. But it's another thing as an executive or a label owner or, or even somebody who's leading a movement. If you could take people who possibly their time is already done or came and passed, and you could get them real popping again. So we will see, man. I wish him all luck. However, if, if he does not get his business right this time around, I can't feel bad for him. Okay? Good luck. <laughs> and I'm hoping it's goodbye. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe to Wish Academics. Hello.